member bites. With me, Sebastian. Selamat pagi and guten tag. Welcome to the Member Bites, a podcast series of the Malaysian German Chamber of Commerce and Industry coming to you from the heart of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. I'm Sebastian and in the Member Bites, we talk with our members about their business and their experience in doing business in Malaysia. The Member Bites are proudly sponsored by Siemens, Ingenuity for Life. This episode is the first episode of a three-part automotive mini-series. We talk with three members from three different parts of the industry to get their perspective from three different angles. We begin with Leonardo Sacchetto from German Tech Motorworks, a workshop in Petaling Jaya um, in the suburbs of KL, specialized in Porsche cars. Leonardo, or Leo as he liked to be called, is a gold-certified Porsche technician and worked many years at Porsche in Zuffenhausen, Germany, in the after sales and workshop management before he came to Malaysia in 2004 to manage the after sales division for Porsche in Glen Mary. With all his expertise with Porsche cars and his experience in Malaysia and Germany, he decided to open his own business, German Tech Motorworks, in 2016. Hi, Leo. Hi, Sebastian. My first question is... Um, your name is very Italian, but you are very German from, as we call it, the uh, Ländle in Baden-Württemberg. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, Schwabenländle. Uh, yes, uh, I was born in Stuttgart. My parents moved from Italy to Germany before I was born. I enjoyed the German education. I do still like spaghettis and I still love espresso. So uh, there is a little bit Italian left in me as well. All in all, I'm quite lucky to have the best out of both worlds. I was taught the detailed eye of a German and uh, I still uh, have the passion for the car itself. You came uh, to Malaysia from Porsche in Germany, uh, where you are a gold certified Porsche master technician to lead the after sales division here. Tell us a little bit about your time at Porsche and how you ended up in Malaysia. When I was working in the Porsche factory, there was a small team that uh, has been traveling for Porsche abroad. I worked for Porsche Middle East for a, a short period of time as well. My final destination was, was a job offer from Porsche Asia Pacific to work either in Indonesia, Jakarta, or Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I knew where it is on the map. I knew they have uh, the Petronas Twin Towers. I knew they have Sepang International Circuit, but I didn't know much. Uh, and so I remember how my first question was actually, uh, are the roads good enough for Porsche here? So uh, nevertheless, I finally came down here. I chose Kuala Lumpur because Malaysia just simply sold more Porsche cars than Jakarta at that point of time. And so I just thought that there is uh, more for me to do here than it would be in Jakarta. And ever since, I, I worked for Porsche Malaysia in the after sales division here. And uh, later on, I was the head of Porsche Prion cars uh, from 2010 onwards. And uh, after that, I decided running a service center for Porsche cars myself. How is the structure of Porsche in Malaysia? Porsche itself is not directly as an entity in Malaysia, but rather is managed by Sandawi, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Porsche Asia Pacific would be the regional office and they are sitting in Singapore. Now, those are the immediate principles uh, or the extended hand of the Porsche headquarters in Stuttgart Zuffenhausen. It is Porsche Asia Pacific who then will look for a partner in the respective country. Instead of going back to Germany, you decided to start your own business here in Malaysia in 2016. How easy or difficult was the process of starting and setting up your own company here as a foreigner? I must say it was unexpectedly easy. I realized that Malaysians do appreciate people who go into details, especially when it comes to, to Porsche cars. And of course, I believe also to most of our clients, uh, German tech was a very, very new experience. And so I can say from that part, it was very easy. The people are extremely friendly. You can see how a lot of clients of ours, they like to follow and they like, they like to see, okay, this is a workshop where my car is in good hands. They, they, they can appreciate it. Huh? 
What advice would you as a German business owner give another entrepreneur who is thinking about setting up uh, his business here in Malaysia? My grandmother always told me that money doesn't fall from the sky. You really have to work for it. When we set up the company, we were hands-on. Uh, we did a lot of things ourselves and we did not uh, hesitate to work until two o'clock in the night if we have to. I would say you really have to be determined in what you want to do. And that's not just in Malaysia. I think it's generally everywhere. Um, and you have, to be, you have to be willing to really be serious and put it down. What would you say are Malaysia's biggest advantages when it comes to doing business from your perspective? I would say it's people generally. And it's also a big advantage with our German education coming to Malaysia and applying it here, bringing a piece of Germany to Malaysia. That is a really, really good thing to do. Number one, it, it raises the quality of any service that we like to offer. here. The, the people adapt very, very quickly to foreigners. Uh, It makes it easy for us as foreigners to adapt very easy to the local people as well. And um, what is maybe not so good? Well, you coming as an individual of a very, very great uh, educational institute from Europe to Malaysia, and if that education is just not appreciated uh, simply because a cheaper option will do it as well, then you will face exactly the problem that... Uh, The quality generally of things is a little bit lower than it would be back in Europe because of that part of the majority of people. Buying and maintaining Porsche cars is quite expensive. Being part of the Porsche world, I assume you basically mostly deal with the wealthy managers and entrepreneurs. Are Porsche drivers different than in Germany? Whoever in Malaysia was able to afford a Porsche car compared to Germany had to spend more money for it because of our uh, extensive import taxes that we have for the car in Malaysia. Uh, so I would say, yes, we do deal with a lot of people that are very, very successful. And these people are also not hesitating to spend on their, on their car because they want it to be functional. So that's one of the parts where German tech is very appreciated among our clients. Let's talk about your business, German Tech Motorworks. What do you exactly do and what are your services? Basically, it's a world all around Porsche. We have a used car sales in the house. Uh, it's called German Tech Certified Pre-Owned Cars. We do every kind of work from rebuilds of uh, old timers to the most modern and contemporary cars. We have, we have diagnosis software for the Porsche Taycan that it's... Uh, It's one of the, the latest innovation of Porsche. We are able to code cars. We are able to program cars. Uh, we do bodyworks in-house. We do bodyworks preparations. Two uh, factory lots down. We have a spray boot that we are using for uh, vehicle paint works. We are in the midst of uh, setting up a settlery. Uh, that letter shop would be uh, containing uh, modern machinery and only original Porsche leather imported from the Porsche factory. The same goes for our paint work. We are painting with water-based paint, which means I can paint a fender and the fender looks exactly the same as the rest of the car, if the rest of the car has been maintained properly over the years. So generally we do everything from servicing, from engine rebuilds, repairs, everything that, a, that Porsche Malaysia as a partner for Porsche in Malaysia would do, we are doing here at German Tech as well, with the only exception that we are an independent Porsche service center. What made you start the business? Did you like Malaysia and thought you wanted to start your business here or did you see a lack of something and thought you can do it better? I honestly saw... So a lack of expertise. And uh, after a long time with Porsche Malaysia, I then decided uh, it's about time for me to set up something on my own. Here is the right country. We have beautiful climate. We have super friendly people. Uh, we have people who are longing for the expertise that we will be able to provide. So why not doing it here? In Germany, most, if not all, technical services demand a skilled worker who went through the German dual vocational training system and uh, who are certified by the German Chambers of Commerce or Chambers of Hand Handicrafts, which means that when you send your car to a workshop, you know uh, what type of st standard you can expect. You also went through that system. Can you maybe talk about uh, what the German car mechanic learns and how is it in Malaysia? 
We are running in-house trainings for our mechanics. I had uh, mechanics that have been studying with the local, um, the local universities or the automotive college, the local institutions. For me, it's very important that uh, one of those uh, young employees that work with us, that they take something with them when they leave. And uh, it's very unfortunate, uh, not every institution in Malaysia thinks the same way. But at this point of time, I can say that our mechanics are absolutely top-notch trained for the latest models. You already mentioned that uh, Porsches and other European cars are more expensive than um, in Europe. How is the situation with spare parts? Are they readily available or do you have to source them from abroad? Most of our spare parts is imported from Germany. Directly from the factory, we have an agent in Berlin who does our custom paperwork. We are placing our orders normally once a week and then we get all our spare parts. We have uh, our store of where we keep all the common parts. And if a client uh, requires a part that we don't have on stock, normally within a week I get the spare parts in. The weather here in Malaysia is, of course, very different from Europe. Does this have an effect on cars and do they need more or less maintenance? It absolutely does. To give you an example, let's just mention brake fluid. Brake fluid, unlike the belief of many, it's not an oil. Brake fluid is a fluid that is hydroscopic. Hydroscopic means it attracts water. With humidities, how we have it in Malaysia, it is very, very important that brake fluid, for an example, is always measured on its water content. Once it has reached 3.7% of water content, it has reached its wet boiling point, and then brake fluid could become very dangerous. The climate here is chewing on many things. So we found our little tricks and little avenues on how to get these cars repaired reliably for the climate we are living in. Malaysia is maybe uh, the pioneer in Southeast Asia when it comes to building its own automotive industry with its own manufacturers Proton and Purdua. How do you see Malaysian cars? I believe today Malaysian cars are so much better in quality than they used to be. I believe today these cars are so much more closer to the standard of a Honda or a Toyota than it was uh, back in 2004 when I came to the country. And we come to the last question. As a professional, what is your favorite car? Hmm, that's a tough question. <laughs> I'm very passionate for Porsche. A Cayman GT4 is an absolute amazing car. The 2017 Cayenne Turbo is absolutely great. Uh, it's a very quick reacting car. You're driving an SUV, but you, you've got a feeling you're driving a high-performance sport car. If we talk about speed, it would be definitely the turbo models. The sound of a Porsche... Uh, it's, it's something different. It's, uh, the power that these cars are giving is just so much fun. I, I must say my favorite car would probably be later GT3. Thank you, Leo, for the interview. Yeah, you're welcome. This was the first of a three-part automotive mini-series. Today with Leonardo Sacchetto from German Tech Motorworks, a Porsche-specialized workshop in Petaling Jaya in the Kuala Lumpur area. You can find German Tech Motorworks online or go to our website malaysia.ahk.de where you can also find uh, the latest updates from us, the Malaysian German Chamber of Commerce in the Industry, MGCC. This episode is proudly sponsored by Siemens, Ingenuity for Life. Thank you for listening to the Member Bytes. I'm Sebastian and stay tuned for more episodes. Until then... Jumpelagi and auf Wiederhören.